Hi everyone, it's B Divine and welcome to Divine Miracles channel. And I'm talking a little bit today about our different steps in our spiritual journey and what it means for us and what's happening. And there's so many things going on at the moment. There are people who are, you know, moving in new directions who have been in a one direction for a really long time and suddenly moving into something completely opposite. You know, people are leaving their jobs, people are leaving relationships, you know, people are acting, you know, it seems like everyone's acting crazy. But I just wanted to mention about the different steps that we go through in our spiritual journey. And also I just wanted to say that to me, it doesn't matter what you believe in, as long as you have happiness at the base, as long as you're always feeling happy within yourself, as long as it doesn't bring any fear into your life um, or control into your life either. And those are the things that are mostly important to me um, because I was raised as a Baptist. I was raised religiously. I went to three different religious communities as a teenager and lived with them and I you know I had my own experiences and things that happened to me in a spiritual manner while I was there undergoing those things in my life um, completely changed my views on everything and showed me a different way of being and I feel like that's what I'm here to do with you is be like a sounding board allow you to be in a space where anything goes and it's okay to be yourself and uh, also to help you to learn the little techniques on your spiritual journey to get you into the next levels. So as I said, we're working through different steps of spirituality. And the first step may come from you just feeling like you want something different in your life. Um, you're curious about different things. Um, you may still be doing the same things in your life. Um, you may already be involved in um, something religious and you're thinking maybe that's not the way that you feel things are. Or you may just have had a reading with someone at one stage and instead of trying to give you a futuristic type of a reading, maybe they hit you in the soul into different areas of your being, which you know made you feel inspired for life. Whatever it is, when you're in the beginning stages of your spirituality, there are so many different people out there. There are so many different ways of doing things. There are still a lot of fearful um, ways within spirituality as well. And some people, you know, do that, make you feel frightened. I don't know why, um, but they, they do this. And some people fall for that kind of stuff. And... To me, it's a, a way of controlling people. Anything that brings fear into your life is a way of controlling you. So when you're first beginning, you know, your spiritual journey is when you first start to look for something bigger or outside of yourself. It's when you first start to try to see things in a different way. Or maybe you try to bring something positive in your life. And so you may just be, in the beginning, a little curious okay and you know maybe it's only at certain people that you'll talk to that kind of thing then you move into another section of your life something happens with you or a change happens or you hear something that you know um, is not coming from you you know that you're getting some kind of message from spirit and it's inspiring to you it's bringing you grace you know it's bringing you miracles into your life Maybe you've had a healing or been to a healer and you know things are different. You know you've been sort of set in a different way, but still everything is confusing to you. So you're like at level two kind of thing. You you know something's out there. You've sort of researched a little bit and you're, you're getting your head around things, but you're not ready to be talking to too many people about it or family and friends and all of that kind of thing. You know, there may be some people that you can resonate with um, in your life and talk with but still because you're uh, unsure a little bit yourself you're unsure about how much to share with people still you've made a transition and you're on the right path anyone that's searching for happiness I need to repeat that is always on the right path anyone that is um, you know feeling inspiration or you know feeling positive about things is always the right path it's only when our intention becomes fearful or controlling or nasty or attacking that we know that that's not the right thing because it keeps coming back to us 
when that happens as well you know and you know we don't feel like we're getting anywhere and then we get angry about it these all these issues need to be resolved and sometimes it takes a while but as long as you're on the path to trying to do something about things and lifting your way forward and even if you don't understand everything you're still making that direction forward it's a still a wonderful progress okay so the second level is still curious still not sure but you've maybe had some experiences the next level is when you start to really put things into action okay and sometimes you're still forgetting to put things into action and that's cool but you you start doing things and you go oh i remember i need to you know maybe ask archangel michael for strength that's what someone said along the way um, or maybe I just need to focus on the positive in this situation. So the light bulb is going off in different areas of your life and you're start, it's starting to awaken you to the patterns that you continue to have in your life too and ways in which you might be able to change it. You still may not be able to talk to many people about your spiritual path. You know, you still may feel that you can only go to YouTube and find your little community that seem to understand you you know um, you may follow things on Instagram and Facebook and all that kind of stuff gaining knowledge and understanding but if anyone found out about it there may be this fear that something's going to happen because of that or you're going to lose all of these people okay so you may be practicing almost every day you may be understanding your own abilities you may be tuning in and meditating which is awesome because when we meditate we have all the answers it's just how it works we start to get ourselves in that space where it just comes in you know so that's why meditation is so important um but you may be doing all of these things still a little bit of understanding that needs to happen and let me tell you your whole journey of your life you're growing and changing you know 10 years ago to what i am today in my beliefs and the way that i can help people is completely different and that's because the knowledge has been there there's more research made there's more experience with people and uh, you know and also believing in myself a little bit more going through my own journey um, of hurt and despair and all these things that have happened and learning how to cope with those things and then change again you know going through all these changes so don't feel that you're at a lower level in your spiritual journey you know you you are already developing as we speak and you will continue to do that that that's just inevitable gaining knowledge is what everybody you know needs to do on this journey and just keep on learning just keep on growing keep on having that same focus though of either wanting to help or healing yourself or working with other people but ultimately everything that you do is for your happiness so there are people that are still, you know, on and off. And then you get the people who um, perhaps fit this category. And that is where the family knows, um, friends know. In some cases, family is very supportive. In some cases, you find your worst fear becomes a reality and you're all on your own in this journey. The family don't want to know about it. And this in itself leads to another journey of self-discovery you know and understanding yourself and being okay with who you are um, people who were once in your life as trusted friends they don't resonate with what you're talking about because they're not ready for that kind of thing yet or they're in a state of fear well I don't want to know about that because I'm scared of what will happen to me if I talk about that kind of stuff there's all this fear going on like that as well you may be in that level where every single day you focus on your spiritual growth you focus on your path it's the light of your life it's you know how you are and instead of being something that you do um, it, it is something who you are and there's a big difference there I feel you know there's some people that use it just as their job there's some people that use it as their life and this is the category that I find myself in, um, where this is my life, this is not a job to me, this is my life purpose, this is what I want to do, I want to gain more knowledge, I want to share it with you guys in an easy way, you know, I want to channel books of information and share it with you guys in an easy way, you know, I've worked out for me, 
I wanted to find out easy ways to spiritual growth and be able to pass that on in my own words kind of thing. Um, I don't have the family support, only my, my sons, that's it. And in the beginning, that was very upsetting to me. That was the most devastating thing that could happen. That was what I feared the most. It's sort of coming out of the closet and suddenly, uh, well, out of the spiritual closet and suddenly nobody wants to be there, you know. You have so much you want to share. Oh, but if you do this, this will happen, you know, like we can do this and we can do that and look at the science. Even close people in my family who were close to me um, saw signs everywhere. I mean miracles and still turned away from those things. I didn't like what I was doing. Maybe I embarrassed them. Maybe made them sort of focus on where they feel guilty in their life. I don't know, but whatever it is, they didn't want to do it. And it did take me time to adjust to that energy and say to myself, it doesn't matter if you are, you know, without family around you because you've been on your own in the whole journey the whole time. You haven't even realized it. In other words, your spiritual journey is your journey. How you believe things is your way of doing things and that's what brings the freedom. Whether other people resonate with you or not, does it really matter? Because you're going to always think your own thoughts anyway. You're always going to do your own thing. You're going to lift yourself in a different way. You may resonate with certain um, speakers. You may not resonate with others. That doesn't make you wrong, you know. So there needs to come a time where you look at your steps to spirituality. You look how far you've come from the beginning to where you are now. And if you are at the beginning of your journey, just say to yourself, there is so much information out there that it's going to be easy for me to move into the right direction for me because all the information's there. You know, Read a lot of things and, and study a lot of different things as well. Um, in your own time and you will find that there will be simplified ways in which you can do things and also look for the things that maybe make you cry or you know um, break your heart open a little bit because of the beauty of what you're reading and how it's really touching the soul and I remember when I read um, The Seat of the Soul by Gary Zukov there were so many things in there that I, at that time in my life, I didn't really quite understand. But there were also so many things that were just so beautiful, like, and just so, you know, amazing for me in my journey that it switched everything around. And I sort of, it, everything just sort of clicked. So you may be at that stage at the moment where spirituality is your life. You, you know, it's not something that you do, it's, it's something who you are. And it means that you're okay with who you are, that you accept yourself on every level, that you're still open to the views of other people, but you know what you want to do and how to do it, you know, and you're setting yourself in that direction. And when we get to this point, and everybody is at this point, you know, somewhere along the way, um, in your own way, you know, and it just means that we're ready for the next big thing as well you know, that we're ready for something else to come forward, for some new information to start happening. You know, there are people who, and I think Doreen Virtue now is completely, you know, moving away from what she'd been teaching for so long. That's a bold move. That's a big move. And I, I don't think I could ever do that. You know, like I, I could not say, oh, I don't believe in this anymore because I believe in this. Um, mm, I don't know something's happened there and I think perhaps um, she may have given into some sort of fearful energy you know something has frightened her into believing in this way that's that's my true feeling on the whole situation but again you know she's she's bringing light into the world and she's doing it in her own way um, I feel like it's going to be more of a controlling way now um, but that's her journey and away she goes we are each on our own unique journey. There is nobody that should be telling you exactly which way that goes, but accepting you for your beliefs and your feelings, you know. It's not always easy on this path because, as I said, there are so many people that don't want to be on it with you. And you know what? That's cool because 
the people that leave you behind just makes room for more people to come forward who work with you in synergy and work with you to bring out the best in you and who understand you. And if we don't get to a point of being at our lowest, we may not then find these people um, who are also at the same level that we're at. So we go through steps in our spirituality. Each one of them is as important as the next. Each one of them has so many things to teach us. And even when we get to higher levels, we look back on where we began and we can see the patterns in our life and how we began to change those things and how we began to evolve, you know, greater and greater within ourselves to bring out the healing within ourselves and around this world, which is so important, you know, to bring out the um, light and love in everybody that we meet. You know, sometimes it's really hard to do that, <laughs> you know, and for me, I don't speak about my spirituality unless someone asks me or unless someone knows who I am kind of thing, then of course you can talk. But if I'm in a normal everyday situation, um, I don't go up and say, oh, I think you've got an angel next to you because I think that would be creepy, you know, um, for someone to do that. I know there are some people that do that and, um, you know, if that's your thing, awesome. But um, I don't do that. I wait until someone asks me, um, but for the most part, people will say oh there is something different about you you know um, I don't know what it is I can't put my finger on it um, you know do you believe in this you know and then that's my opening kind of thing to to start talking so I just wanted to say to you all that no matter where you are on your journey that it's it's a growing one it's a learning one we're never going to be finished learning and if someone believes that they've got all the knowledge then um, maybe it's time to move into another direction because we never stop learning and growing. We never stop analyzing ourselves. We never stop learning to love ourselves. There's going to be you know downfalls in our life. There's going to be times when we're swearing and carrying on and acting like a fruitcake. And that's fine because that's honest. That's real. That's who we are sometimes, you know. And I don't think that we should be condemned because, you know, we have a bad day or something like that. Um, so be true to yourself and understand your own abilities and know that they're always shifting and changing as you are and that if you're wanting someone in your life or you're wanting a group of people in your life put that intention out there to have that happen for you and let go of all the details of how it will take place you know if you're wanting healing or anything like that then you put that intention out there and you'll be led to the right person to help you um, to heal and well to help you to heal yourself because that's all it really is um, and help you to actually understand your own abilities too you know there is assistance available every step on your journey and my hope is that as you grow and develop you understand how amazing your life can be it doesn't have to be nine to five it doesn't have to be bills coming in every five minutes and stressing about things it doesn't have to be stress of drama around you because you can lift yourself away and learn how to delegate problems like that to the universe or to the angels or whatever it is that you believe in you can learn to say no I'm, I'm worrying about this crap again and I don't need to there I've given it to you guys now deal with it you know you can learn to shift things and then you can learn how you can manifest things into your life so much easier, you know. And I've seen this for myself and I practice this all the time. Um, you know, it's not that it's an easier process for one than it is for another. It just means that where you are with your belief and your mindset is how quickly things will start to happen, you know. And, you know, some people, they say, I'm really grateful for for this and that's a great start and they're like I'm really grateful for this in my life but I don't know how things are going to change and if you just leave that little bit out at the end you wouldn't block yourself you know from having manifestations so keep on learning and growing don't be in a rush to to have everything or know everything enjoy the journey that is before you you know know that you're going to bring people into your life that will help you no matter where you are on your spiritual path. If you're young and you're trying to understand everything, 
you know there are people that are also going through the same thing and you can bring them into your life if you're in abusive situations there are people that will help you understand that and grow and help you to grow you know if you're feeling like you're um, ready to start a business and you're ready to get out there into the world there are people that will help you you know and help you with your business and get you going okay so don't worry about so much um, about being right or um, finding the right path be more focused on you and where you really feel your heart sings and when your heart sings you know it if something is making you feel uneasy in any of the things that you listen to in anyone's videos or anyone's readings or anything like that if it makes you feel uneasy then go with that as well okay maybe you're not ready to hear it or maybe that's not the person to deliver it to you at the moment okay always follow that inner feeling and know that no matter like I said no matter where you are on your journey we're all beginners because something new is happening for each one of us all the time it's just whether you are full on into your whole life as being a spiritual life and spiritual laws of attractions and things like that coming into it or whether you're just taking bits and pieces from everywhere at the moment it doesn't really matter as long as you are open to knowledge open to acceptance and know that you've always got someone here this channel me be divine you've always got me here and I've always got your back no matter what it is okay I will help you to find your way forward I will lead you to other people I'll help you with healing whatever it is that you need you've always got someone that is there okay and the one thing I can tell you for certain is that I wouldn't um, give all this away to go and follow um, a religion or anything like that however I do follow all the teachings from all the different religions and the different things that come from there um, you know some of the different um, people that are, are mentioned I will speak about from time to time um, you know all the goodness in things that's all that I really focus on and I wouldn't be that sort of person that would suddenly become a preacher or something um, <laughs> but I will speak in other ways and I will be a voice for those people who are too nervous to be able to um, say things because that used to be me I used to be the one that couldn't speak and everyone used to speak over the top of me I was the one that suffered from terrible social phobia and you know couldn't go out and if I did it would take all my courage it would took all my courage to go to work and you know be, I'd be going through anxiety the entire day I wouldn't want anyone to look at me I didn't want to get in trouble <laughs> you know I didn't have many people around to to lean on because most of the time I was doing all the support work you know and everybody else was oh just call call back you know she'll come and help us do this and she'll do this and she'll do that and she'll do this um, and I did and I used to do all of those things you know and I was I was the underdog kind of thing nobody wanted to you know listen to or anything like that to anything that I had to say and plus I used to stutter as well I couldn't get my words out because I'd start stuttering and things and so that's why I'm here you know I bring myself all of who I am to this this work that I do this this life that I have you know and I share it with you guys the good and the bad you know there's some things that have been going on the last few months that have been you know really awful and I haven't said anything about it I've just kept on going forward because that's what I want to do I really don't want to focus on anything in any way that's negative you know I've also had an amazing um, time with my youngest son who turned 18 and uh, he lives with his dad so it's been a very difficult few years um, and there's been times when I hadn't seen him for a really long time and so I was able to go and be with him and like hold him and talk to him and you know it was just amazing in this last week so there's been amazing occurrences that have happened and since we've had this eclipse energy as well more and more and more things are, are transpiring so wherever you are on your journey embrace it and keep going and don't let anyone knock you off you know don't let anyone make you feel 
like you're stupid or you don't know anything don't make people allow people to make you feel fearful of what's going to happen to you after you pass away because you believe in angels and stuff <laughs> you know because you're trying to help people or suddenly you're going to go to hell I don't think so you know trust in yourself and the path in which you're working on you're working on this path we all are we're walking on it and we're working on it you know and there's not always going to be joy joy la di da happy happy there's not always going to be that but through everything we hold, hold an experience we have an experience and we keep on going forward and I just wanted you all to know, I wanted to make this video about the different steps that we go through and the different thoughts that we may be having and how all of it's normal, okay? You're totally normal. <laughs> you may be having crazy dreams, but you're totally normal, you know? You may be talking to your angels, but you're totally normal, okay? And that's just how, that is a way in which you can help yourself to heal, you know, working with energy like that. You know, that's smart. <laughs> And all these people wandering around on all of these tablets for psychological problems that could be fixed if they're actually in their body properly and had a proper healing, you know. Um, they'd be all, you know, sorted out. So anyway, please know that you've always got a space here. You know, with this channel, it's going to continue to grow. I'm going to make keep on making my videos. You guys tend to like the, the mini forecasts and the guidance readings and things like that. Um, I have had issues with my internet for some reason. I haven't been able to get as many videos as I would like. Um, we finally got that kind of thing fixed, although, you know, uploading something tends to be really, really slow as well still, so we don't know. Um, but I know there's always a reason for everything. I do understand that. Um, maybe it just means NBN's coming <laughs> um, much sooner than we think, and that way there'll be no problems. But I'm going to do my best to just keep on bringing your videos to you guys. I'm also writing a book, a channeled book. Um, so if you've got questions for the angels, I'm going to um, collate all these things, um, talk to different angels and bring in um, some messages so that we all can sort of have a reference guide as well as we move forward. Okay. If you need me for mentoring, intensive healing, personal readings or even face to face if you're in Adelaide um, I'm in Adelaide as well I can do group readings and uh, I can come and see you and help you I can do hypnotherapy whatever it is that you want to talk about or just have a chat I can um, you know catch up with you and see how you're going and, and try to help you in your own path to move forward in your own way so thank you so much for listening to this video and until the next time, wishing you an awesome week and many, many um, happy days to come. And it's goodbye for now. Bye, everyone. <laughs>